Yes, ma'am. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman, I just want to thank you. Uh, this has been one of the best set of hearings that I've participated in. And I want to thank you for your fairness and the opportunity of going back and forth. It leaves one with a lot of hopes, a lot of questions, and even some ideas, perhaps some good bipartisan legislation thank we you. can put together to make this great country even better. So thank you thank so you. much for your leadership. Well, one, that means a lot to me. And, and I know we have very different views about the judge and whether we should be doing this or not. But having said all that, to my Democratic colleagues, um, you have challenged the judge, you've challenged us, and I accept those challenges as being sincere and not personal. Uh, I don't think anybody crossed the line with the judge in terms of trying to demean her as a person. Uh, to the people on my side, thank you very much for being involved and, you know, telling our side of the story and asking the judge uh, about your concerns. Uh, one thing we can tell you, as long as there's <clears throat> Senator Grassley, there'll be a question about ethanol. Uh, to Senator Feinstein, you're a joy to work with. Uh, to our staffs, I know this has been very hard, a lot of pressure on both sides. To the people who set up the room, thank you. Uh, to the witnesses who chose to participate today, as private citizens, thank you. To the police officers who made this go well, thank you. Uh, to my staff who bore the brunt of this, I really do thank you. Uh, so what we're going to do now is <clears throat> end where we began. Uh, my view of the Affordable Care Act is different from South Carolina's point of view. We're getting about a billion dollars less because of the formula. We're down to one exchange. We started with five and premiums have gone up. Uh, those issues will be decided at the ballot box. It's close election everywhere. Um, uh, you know, all I can say is that voting does matter. And I'm sorry that anybody has to wait in line. We need to make sure we deal with that as a nation. But voting participation in South Carolina is very strong. I am happy about that. This is a chance to have your say. The stakes are high, it's been well articulated here. But let me just say, the election will come, this will be declared, and we get to start over. The thing I like most about democracies is a journey without a destination. <laughs> when are we gonna get there? We never actually do. You know, when you're a child, you're wanting to get to wherever you want, you know, you're excited about going. It really is the journey. And I don't know how this election's gonna come out. I'm hopeful for our side. I feel good about it. But having said that, you know, 2016 was a curveball in many ways. And I just don't know what's gonna happen, but the more people vote, the better. And when it's all over, and it'll be over in a few weeks, I'll just say this, if I'm around, I will commit myself to starting over, looking forward, not backward, and to the Judiciary Committee. Um, we've talked about things that really matter. We've had our differences, but we're talking about Section 230. I think that's mattering more every day. And the fact that we had a unanimous vote to make sure that social media outlets earn their 230 protection when it comes to protecting children against sexual exploitation, it's a darn good place to start. A lot of smart people on this committee, I mean incredibly smart about antitrust, about intellectual property. So this committee, in my view, even though we've had a rough ride lately, has the potential, if we all embrace it, to engage each other and make America a stronger, safer place. To my friend, uh, Senator Lee, I don't think anybody likes their job more than you do. Uh, I've never seen anybody, Senator Coons, you're definitely in that category, uh, who's so enthusiastic about the law and politics. I'll end with this. Judge Barrett, I have had an opportunity to witness several people apply for the job of being a Supreme Court Justice. I've never met a more amazing human being in my life. Not from just the professor who helped the struggling young blind student and everybody else she's helped, but just your knowledge of the law, your disposition, uh, your character, and the ABA rating, I think, was well earned. So the hearing regarding uh, Judge Amy Barrett to become a social, 
Associate Justice of the Supreme Court uh, is now over. The markup will be October the 22nd. To all who got us here, thank you very much.